people just thought it was a family curse. Typically young males, their 20s, early 30s, would, would just drop dead. Nobody knew why, they just accepted it. When I started writing, it was before I knew what was wrong with me. I wanted to be a novelist. I didn't know at the time that I was born with a heart that was like a time bomb that could go off at any minute. I could have died at any moment. We have heart trouble and a death. So the question is, do they have a mutation? In looking at the family trees, we were absolutely clear that this was a genetic disease. We knew that the only way we could ever diagnose people ahead of time to get them treatment early was to find this gene. We were in a race to try and find this, to help these families. Doing the genomics research was years of work, years of work. But then, we finally found the gene. Once they found the gene, it was just a simple blood test and anybody could find out if they had it. You know, obviously I wasn't thrilled to find out I had a potentially lethal heart disorder, but to be told that and then immediately be told, this is what we're gonna do to make sure nothing happens to you. The treatment is the implantation of a defibrillator, which goes under the skin on the left-hand side of the chest. If I suddenly have a heart attack, the implanted defibrillator will shock my heart back into a good rhythm and it'll save my life. In a way, it's been a blessing because it's pushed me to focus on the things that are important to me and to stop procrastinating. I'm basically living on borrowed time, I guess. I just focused more and more and more on writing and uh, things I never thought would happen started happening. I've been at festivals sitting next to like Margaret Atwood and all these other writers I never thought I'd be in the company of, you know?